In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, I'd like to give you some tips on how to augment your video project by using sound effects. When we're new to video editing and videography, we often don't consider sound effects. We believe that we have all the audio we need. We have dialogue from our videos that we capture with our camera, and that also gives us a lot of ambient noise and other kinds of things so people can get into our story. Uh, perhaps the biggest challenge we have is how to get rid of extraneous audio that we don't like, like a, a car honking or an ambulance or the sound of a jet plane, whatever. But we often don't think about what happens when we can add or layer sounds to our project. Sometimes you find a situation like the one on the screen here, I, uh, I bought this standard clip, and this is a great clip, very well shot, but when I play it, uh, I find there is no audio. And so it's kind of useless in many situations because I can't hear anything, and that just seems strange. So there's two ways in which you can solve the problem. Number one, if you don't have audio, you have to reshoot stuff or buy something different, or you can find something that might work. There's two sources. One is online. When you go online, you can subscribe to audio places that for free or for a fee will give you access to maybe 500,000 or a million audio files or more. And this is one place where you can find lots of quality stuff. One thing we tend to forget is that that audio plays a huge part in the world around us and so many sounds are different from others. So I went online to find a sound and I found one called Grinder. I'm going to take that and drag it down and drop it into this track. And now when I play this, that seems a lot better. Now the Grinder I have is not the same as this particular device, but it's close enough that it helps me tell the story better. Another thing I encourage you to do is layer sounds. Now, let's assume I want to tell this story, but I want people to hear other things so they know that this is in a construction area. This is where the sound effects from Premiere Elements 2018 help. Let's go ahead and click in the action bar on the right side on the musical symbol. We've already had a lesson about all the musical scores that are available. But if I click on that gray area, I also have an option called sound effects. And then I have 13 categories of sound effects. Let's survey them quickly. Then we'll apply one in our setting here. When I click on ambience, I find that I have uh, quite a few here. I have 49 uh, effects here. And you never know exactly what you're going to find uh, when you go to a product like Premiere Elements. And here I have a construction light work, I have dirt road, I have a factory entrance door opening. There are 49 in this category. I'll click on the double headed arrow, that will take me to the second category of animals. There's 10 there. There are 20 in the cartoon effects, 10 in crashes, 18 in fire and explosions, 30 in a category called foley. And Foley, I find, is an interesting category. It has very subtle sound effects. Something, something like someone taking their jeans off, which I don't really realize there's a sound to that. Well, there, there apparently can be. Cloth ripping, I would understand that. Uh, we have something like a, a box uh, rattle with empty glass bottles. Uh, some very subtle effects in the Foley category. The next one is a lot louder. That would be impacts. Number, uh, the next one is industry. We'll get back to this one in a moment. Then we have liquids, mud dropped, uh, water bubble surfacing. Then we have science fiction, a lot of electronic kind of noises, technology, transportation, and weather. And so we have all these effects built in. So if you uh, are looking to augment uh, what your people hear in your production, you might find something useful in this collection. It's not huge, but it's a great way to start. So I'm going to go back here to the industry one. 
and I have one called uh, Ambience Factory Outside of Loading Dock. I can take it and I can drag it with the left mouse button and put it on a track anywhere I want to, any audio track. And if I go ahead and move my current time indicator over here, I'm going to play it. So that gives me some background noise. Now what I'd like to do in telling this story is people will hear the grinder, but I want them to realize that this is in a wider context. So I'm simply going to stack it on top of the other sounds. And we'll go back to nearly the beginning of this clip here. And now you will hear not only the grinder uh, audio track that I pulled in from the internet, you'll also hear the one I got from Premier Elements 2018 of Factory Noises. So it just adds another layer to the story I'm trying to tell. Now, when it comes to modifying these, unlike or the audio that you have that's music, you cannot lengthen these beyond their original size. You can shorten them if you want, but you cannot lengthen them. You can also, as in other audio files, the loudness of them by clicking on the double-headed arrow on the yellow line. You can increase the decibel rate, uh, level up to a 6.02 or all the way down to zero or anything in between. You can also hold the control key down and click on the yellow line and you can set audio keyframes where you can individually raise or lower the sound any way you want in order to convey the kind of message you believe and blend it in with the other layers. One thing about sound that's nice is, is when you layer it, you can make lots of great adjustments. Oh, by the way, you can also set a keyframe simply by clicking on the diamond here, and that will set one wherever your current time indicator is. And this, the left and right arrows will go from one keyframe to the other if you prefer to use that method. But this gives you an option to augment your story by using some sounds. So I encourage you to do two things. Number one, explore the library of sound effects available in Premiere Elements 2018. You may find some that will be useful if you keep them in mind at certain points in your production. And also don't be afraid to go to the internet and see what you can find there for more sounds that help you tell your story better.